Hey, Vision Chasers, it's Dr. Bird here with another social studies lesson for you today. You know, the normal inclination for people who don't like each other is to stay as far away from each other as they possibly can. But the standard formula for most reality TV shows is to get people who don't like each other as close to each other as many times as possible and just wait for the sparks to fly. Now, keep that thought in mind because today's lesson is about the Cuban Missile Crisis. I wanna thank a commenter who also took the time to suggest that I do a video about the Cuban Missile Crisis. So, here we go. During the Cold War between the United States and Soviet Union, there were many occasions in which people thought the war was going to heat up with gunfire exchange between both sides. As a matter of fact, many people back then thought that the world was going to come to an end. You know, and it was during this time in which students like yourself were, were taught to duck and cover in hopes of surviving a nuclear attack. And if you ask most people what was the most frightening time during the Cold War, they will probably tell you that it is during a period of 13 days in October of 1962. It was then that there were Soviet missiles located in Cuba, which is about 90 miles away from the United States. So being a history teacher, I'm obliged to tell you uh, the full story, give you all the facts, as many as possible within this short lesson. And so let's go back to the 1950s when the United States actually surrounded the Soviet Union with the threat of missiles by placing Jupiter missile launch sites in various uh, United States friendly European countries, such as Turkey and Italy. Additionally, in order to contain the spread of communism, John F. Kennedy authorized the Bay of Pigs invasion. The Bay of Pigs invasion involved training and arming Cuban refugees, people who had been kicked out of Cuba, to overthrow the current communist government led by Fidel Castro. Now, for those of you gamers out there, this is the first mission in Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, the Bay of Pigs invasion was a failure, and it actually pushed Cuba closer to a relationship with the Soviet Union, and therefore, it pushed them closer to communism. So the Bay of Pigs does the opposite of what the United States wanted it to do. The Soviet Union would end up aiding Cuba and helping them protect themselves by giving them military assistance. That military assistance also included missiles. On October 16, 1962, President John F. Kennedy learned of the missile's presence. Now, he would demand that the Soviet Union remove the missiles. Now, here on your screen, you're actually looking at the actual pictures that President Kennedy was looking at. Now, these pictures were taken by a U-2 spy plane that was flying over Cuba at a very high altitude. On October 22nd, Kennedy ordered a blockade surrounding Cuba to prevent further shipment of arms from the Soviet Union. Now, it's interesting to point out that Kennedy had a number of plans that he could have chosen from. There was one plan to actually invade Cuba and destroy the missiles. And this invasion was scheduled for the 29th or 30th of October. And inevitably, this would have led to war between the Soviet Union and the United States because the Soviet Union had sworn to protect Cuba from a potential attack from the United States. Thankfully, this never happened. Ultimately, Kennedy and the Soviet leader at the time, Nikita Khrushchev, they made a public agreement. Now, in that deal, Khrushchev promises to remove all the missiles in Cuba in exchange for Kennedy's promise that the United States would not invade Cuba. Now, secretly, it was decided the United States agreed to remove the missiles that they had in Turkey. And on October 28th, the two leaders complete the agreement, which ends the crisis. So the question is just how close did they come to war? 
A Soviet attempt to penetrate the naval blockade would have definitely sparked a war between these two superpowers. There would be one major event that took place as these two superpowers were standing off against each other. And that happened on October 27th, when an American reconnaissance plane was shot down over Cuba. Now the pilot of this plane was Major Rudolf Anderson, and uh, he unfortunately lost his life in this incident. And he is the only casualty of the Cuban Missile Crisis. And this was a, and his death was very tragic, but it likely prevented war between both sides. The brother of President Kennedy, uh, who is also the Attorney General at the time, Robert F. Kennedy, he would say this around that, this time. He would say, there was the feeling that the noose was tightening on all of us, on Americans, on mankind, and that the bridges to escape were crumbling. Now, Kennedy reached out to Khrushchev and Kennedy correctly assumed that Khrushchev did not order the plane to be shot down. And both leaders realized and they felt compelled that they needed to reach an agreement in order to prevent war. Well, that's our social studies lesson for the day. I thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to download the worksheet that goes along with this video so you can further your understanding of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Thank you so much for watching and until we meet again, keep chasing the vision. Bye.